This video is brought to you by Easy Rent, <laughs> your local car company in Lourdes. Um, yeah, well, we're at Fucky Beach. Um, I'll say that a bit tongue in cheek. Uh, if you drive through the back of Fascado where the car park is and follow the signage, you will end up just here. Um, now, over the back there, there is a little taverna if you follow the road, which we're on here. Um, it's also a nice little anchorage if you don't want to get involved in what's going on in Fascado. As you can see, there's uh, a few yachts anchored up there. People swimming and enjoying the sea. It looks like there's a, a little walk along there, a little pathway. Um, yeah, it's nice. Um, so, we're going to head back now down that direction there to Fascado and then I'm going to try again and uh, video the mountain road past uh, Assos, Mitus, um, which some of you might know as Mertu, but apparently it's pronounced Mitus, uh, and then we'll go out onto the mountain road, uh, the little cut through that takes you down um, to uh, Agostoli. I did try this earlier, but the uh, camera decided that it was not going to do that. It's, uh, so this is the second take of that. Uh, anyway, we're still with the little Suzuki that we got from my friends at uh, Tassos at um, Easy Rent. So yeah. So um, the bay where we're at was that way. The Fascado is that way. And um, this is the road. Um, it looks like that might be a bit of a crazy anchorage as we drove out uh, There was a lot a couple of boats trying to get in there. So that looks like it could be quite busy as well But I suppose anything to do with Fascado um, if you're on a boat is going to be a bit of a nightmare <laughs> It is a very busy place But uh, look at that lovely yacht over there So there's the signpost for where we've just been if you thought I was taking the mickey with the name <laughs> Uh, so we're just on the road now, um, out of Fascado. Um, as you can see, the, the roads are very good around here. Um, I don't have any problem with it. Um, if you're a little nervous, then just take your time, you know. But the roads are really good. Um, the, uh, the evening can be a bit uh, of a problem with the sunshine at this time of year. Um, it does sort of... Get you in the eyes but i've got a good pair of sunglasses and the car's got a um sun visors you can pull down obviously um there you go it gives you an idea how wide the road is the car's just gone past us so yeah there you go that's uh just coming into a village now Right, so we're coming up to uh, the second village as you come out of Fiscardo. Um, a word of warning here, this bend tightens right up and it's quite narrow. Um, it's caught me out once or twice over the years because obviously I've been coming here a long time and I sort of get a bit used to the roads. <coughs> um, so yeah, just to take your time and everything will be fine. But that's the uh, probably the worst part of this journey back to Agostoli as if you're a bit nervous about the roads but, uh, the views are pretty spectacular when you uh, can see through the trees right we're starting to uh, head out onto the mountain road now um, I thought I'd film this for, I've seen on Facebook, um, on some of the Kefalonia sites, that there are a few people a little bit nervous about driving in Greece. Well, <clears throat> as you can see, it's uh, it's okay. It's just that, you know, if you're from the UK, you've got to be prepared to drive on the other side of the road with a left-hand drive car. And if you're okay with that, then you'll be fine. But it's well worth it because look at those views, you know. 
Okay, we've just come from that direction, um, from Pescado, and we're heading back towards Agostoli, um, past uh, Assos and Mrs. Spey, and uh, this is probably one of the best spots to take a photograph of Assos, which is down there. Yeah. Ain't that just the best thing you've seen all day? <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> so uh, all I'll say about that is you need to visit it, really. Um, there's a, a road that uh, we'll pass in a minute. You can just make out right up there, there's like some a concrete curve in the brickwork there. There's a road that goes all the way down zigzags its way all the way down there and comes out down there so yeah <coughs> that's Assos and I'll be doing a video of that fairly shortly because I like to go and have a fish supper there occasionally but today I'm uh, I'm eating the uh, in the car I went to AG stores and brought myself a wrap a drink and some crisps so uh, that cost me about five euros <laughs> as opposed to uh, 10 to 15 euros if you go to a uh, taverna not that I'm tight, but I'm just being careful with my money. <laughs> to Bay. And the road to Agastoli. <laughs> Some people I just photographed. I'm hoping I can edit this because I've got uh, about 10 minutes of the seat in the car. So we'll see. So uh, that was uh, Mitus and uh, hopefully I've managed to edit the uh, five minutes of seat for the camera film. <laughs> if not, I'm afraid you're just going to have to put up with that. But uh, it was worth it, I think you'll find. Anyway, we're heading now for the crossroads um, where you can go straight on to Agostoli, left for um, Egia Famia, or right for Agostoli via the mountain road. Um, so yeah, my, my advice really, like I said earlier in the video, people get worried about the mountain road. Don't, don't worry guys, just take your time, it'll be fine. Obviously don't go too slow because then you just annoy everybody, but uh, you know, just take your time and it's fine. So now we're approaching the uh, crossroads. Now you can turn left here um, and that will take you out onto what is a fairly new road now. Um, when they had to close the mountain road because of the earthquake a while back, um, they had to do some repairs to the road. <coughs> um, they built a fairly new road over the top of the mountain and down the other side brings you out by Assos. Um, it's an interesting route if you want to do something a bit different to what everybody else is doing. Anyway, this is the crossroads. So we're going to go up this way today. Um, normally I would turn right there and go past the fish farm, um, etc. But uh, I'll probably show you the other mountain route. There we go, past the uh, guy who makes uh, some interesting things. <laughs> In the village. I, I must stop one day and have a look at that. Um, I know my friend Karen Fazard, otherwise known as Tigger to me, who owns a shop called Down the Rabbit Hole, which you must visit if you come to Catalonia. Um, I think she's been there. Um, I'll have to ask her about it. Anyway, this road now opens up onto a really nice bit of road which takes us straight through the middle of the mountain. Good little cut through. If you're worried about the mountain road, this is a way of getting off it. Just be aware guys that, uh, as you can see, there's a fair bit of rubble on these sides of the roads. If there's a, a, an earthquake, then you get little bits of rubble dropped down onto the road. Um, <clears throat> so you just have to be a bit careful because if you hit one of those, you'll end up with a puncher, won't you? you know? But, you know, 
usually it's pretty clear like it is today. I think they, um, I think you said that they clear the roads anyway most days. So there you go. Now there's a good example of what I meant by uh, bits of rubble. But of course, if you're driving uh, appropriately, it won't be a problem, will it? Um, I've been coming along this road for years now, uh, mostly on my motorbike that I hire when I'm out here, and uh, I've never had a problem with it. As you can see, it's a very good road. So there you go, we're going down now towards uh, the direction of Agostoli. Well, I consider to be a very, very good road. See for miles. It's a bit misty tonight, so you can't actually see, but the sea's down there. 